presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to downgrade ProPresenter to the previous or earlier versions. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever wanted to downgrade your Mac to an earlier version of ProPresenter, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that fun jazz. So, this is one of those things that some people jump to as their very first troubleshooting uh, idea. I don't want you to do that. There's a very good reason for that, and that is that sometimes new versions don't break things. They just show things that were already broken. This happened to me in going from 7.8 to 7.9. I was convinced that 7.9 was busted. Uh, because it just would crash every time I tried to open it. And then I reached out to support and they showed me that it was in fact a user file that had been corrupted. Which I knew that and normally I check that, but this time I was just convinced I was right. So, that's why I want you to talk to support, etc. But, Let's say you don't have time to do any troubleshooting. You just need to get back to the previous version. Right now, someone updated to a newer version without permission, or uh, you updated and it's just not working and you don't have time to do anything about it. How do you go about downgrading ProPresenter so that uh, you can get it to do what it was doing before you upgraded? Well, first off, we head over to my computer and you're going to want to close out ProPresenter. So I'm just going to do Command Q for quit. By the way, in general, this will work for a PC, but it's a little bit different. I'll tell you what I think is different. But first off, we go here to renewedvision.com uh, slash ProPresenter slash pound download. Um, to get there... You just actually go to renewedvision.com, go to download, ProPresenter, and it's going to take you to this. Fill this out the first time so that you can get on their mailing list and such, but subsequent times, or if you don't have time to fill it all out, just click the download only button here. Now you're going to need to decide if you want the Mac version or Windows, and this version is the current version that's showing right here. So if you do not want that, you need to click on version history. So I'm going to click on that for Mac. And notice we've got 7.10.1, and that's the current version. Previous version, I'm going to do 7.9.2. So I'm going to click on that, and that's going to go ahead and download. Okay, so once it has downloaded, I'm going to go to where that is. So I'm show in Finder. And then I need to double click on it to unzip it. Okay, now having unzipped it, if this was the only one in my downloads folder, it wouldn't have given it the ProPresenter 2 name, but we're just going to roll with it. So now what I can do is I can roll over here. Actually, let me rename that. Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about it. So go to Applications here, and it should copy that over. Uh, if, you, if your download folder isn't Dropbox enabled, you won't see this. So I'm just going to go click Move Out of Dropbox. And if it had the same name, it would say, hey, do you want to replace the file? That's why we needed to uh, close out of that. But since it did not have the same name, now, if I go into Applications and ProPresenter, here's the one that I just downloaded. This is the one from uh, earlier. This is uh, ProPresenter 7.10.1. This is 7.9.2. So let me just double-click on that. And it's going to say, hey, you downloaded this from the web. Do you want to open that? Yes, I do. And now I am back in ProPresenter 792. So, and notice that that affected that just a little bit. Let me uh, 
click back here. There we go. So that is how to downgrade ProPresenter if you need to real quick. Now, again, let me say one more time, reach out to support. They're there for you. Support at RenewedVision.com. They are there all weekend long as well. Um, just mark it as urgent so they know to look to help you first. If this truly is urgent, don't misuse that. And uh, let them help you troubleshoot. Or it could be that they say, hey, yeah, the problem you're having, you need to downgrade, then by all means downgrade. I just don't want you to do it as your default troubleshooting step because it might be illuminating something that's otherwise broken and subsequent versions will appear broken to you because you didn't fix what was actually broken. So something to keep in mind. If you like this content, you'll probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro 7 quick. Give me your name and email address, and then I can make a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. <laughs>